Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. So a couple uh, weeks ago, a couple days ago rather, excuse me, I was texting with a couple of my buddies and we were texting about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And uh, I heard this line that I'm sure you've heard multiple times and I've heard it multiple times and it goes something like this, right? When there's some kind of civil unrest situation, be it short term or long term, right? Like a flood or whatever, some something that I think Katrina after the after the levees broke or something like that, um, you know, then I'll get a gun, right? When I need a gun in this kind of end of the world situation or when everything's falling apart or when there's some civil unrest, then I'll be able to go get one. You know what I'm gonna do, Dylan? I'm gonna go down to so-and-so's house and they got a whole bunch of guns. They got a safe full of guns. They got a hidden room full of guns. They got whatever and then I'll just I'll just get one then. And uh, I always chuckle at that. You know, a couple weeks ago here in Minnesota, we had the polar vortex, right? No matter where you live in America, you probably experienced the polar vortex. And uh, some of you guys are like, man, it was like below freezing, like there was ice on the ground. Up here in Minnesota, it was like 25, 30 below, uh, zero, just, you know, Fahrenheit, just so we're clear. Like, I mean, it was cold. That was a straight temperature, no wind chill, no nothing. Just 25, 30 below, zero, period. Just end of the day. It was great fun. Uh, I had my car, my wife's car, and my mom's car in my driveway when that happened, and all three of them would not start, okay? So <clears throat> I, along with everyone else, right, what did I do? Well, I went to the, uh, you know, the car store, like an O'Reilly's, tried to buy a battery, I was trying to find an oil pan heater, I was trying to find these things to try to get my cars to start, right? And uh, a lot of places were, you guessed it, sold out right they did not have because demand rose through the roof they didn't have the supply to meet the demand anymore right basic economics i think most of us are familiar with this and so i was thinking driving around to these different stores have my buddy pick me up to try to take me to the store to try to get this stuff to go to one store and they don't have it and go to a different place and whatever to, to try to find what i needed to get the cars to start and i was thinking you know here it is and i can't find simple basic things like car batteries and oil pan heaters in order to try to get my cars to start. Uh, but there are people who believe or expect to believe, or, or at least they say, they're gonna be able to get guns when the world is falling apart. You know, I mean, my, my world was not falling apart. It was really cold, okay, and, and uncomfortable. And But I had a buddy who drove down and picked me up. But people think that when there's this this time of civil unrest, you know, when the, when their their world, for all intents and purposes, is falling apart at the seams, that they're going to be able to get them and their them and their wives and their kids and all their food and water that they need to survive or whatever, they're going to be able to go to a different person's house, unannounced, show up, say, hey, I need some guns and I need some ammo and uh, by the way, can we just kind of stay here now because you know we can't go back to our old house or whatever. And I just think that's that's insane, right? Like that that doesn't work. That doesn't that doesn't compute. Um, and if you take a moment to actually think about what you're saying, you know that that's not going to work. And I think most people just say it because they think uh, some kind of civil unrest or something like that is so unlikely that they're not actually going to need a gun. So they just say, "Oh well, I'm good. You know, I got insurance. I'll I'll go to Bob's house and Bob will hook me up," even though they've you know barely met Bob or whatever they just saw his guns once and they're there or whatever you know and they don't think about all the other people that have the same plan right they're gonna go to Bob's house and they're gonna assume Bob will give them a gun which Bob might not even give them a gun he might tell them to just piss off right they're gonna assume Bob has ammo enough for all of those guns and uh, then they're assuming that you know they'll be able to work out a deal or whatever and uh, one it's kind of like it's this fantasy of like you know in the movies they go into like the secret room kind of like a jankity uh, like going to a jankety storage locker or something and then the floor opens up and it's all this brightly lit LED stuff with closed cell foam and just guns on the walls. It's like that. It's like that's the, that's the fantasy they have. And uh, it obviously won't work. I think it's really funny, but I think it won't work. So my point is, when you need a gun, you won't have time to go get one. When you need a gun, you better already have one. So if you don't have a gun, get one now. Right? Real simple. I mean, this is this is not rocket science. The time to prepare for a disaster is now, right? If I was smart, before it got to be 25 below, I would have taken some steps to ensure that my cars would be functioning. Unfortunately, I guess apparently I'm not that smart, and, and so I paid the price. Now, the price that I paid isn't that big of a deal, right? I missed a day of work. I, I had to run around and, and try to get some car batteries and whatever. 
But <clears throat> the price that we're talking about here for not having a gun when you need them might be your life. So I just think that's worth thinking. So, so when people tell me, you know, Dylan, I'm not a gun guy, I don't want a gun, whatever, I'm like, that's great. I'm not a car guy. I drive a car to work every day. You know, it's a tool that you use that you that should be part of your adult life and you should have it and you should be able to access that tool when you need it. When you need a gun, you won't have time to go get one. That's why you need one now. OK, and, and that goes for, <clears throat> you know, like I said, this the civil unrest thing that we're talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that also goes for times when, like, you're just walking down the street and getting mucked. Right. If your gun's in your car, you're not going to have time to go get it. When you need a gun, you won't have time to go get one. That's why you need one now. Okay? That applies to all your life situations. So get a gun, keep and get trained with a gun, carry the gun, carry the gun loaded. It, it, it's real, real simple. So <clears throat> maybe there's someone in your life who said that and, uh, and you could send them this video to, to help them get directed on the right path. If you've said that in the past, I encourage you to reconsider that because obviously uh, that will not work. Do brave deeds and endure.